Hi everyone, James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. On today's video, we're doing another sewing project. And since it's the Halloween season, I figured why not add a spooky element to the costume I'm gonna make you today. And if you haven't noticed, my place is overrun with insects right now. It's infested. It's gross, but it's appropriate for the season, I guess. So, there's a silver lining there. The outfit we're making today is a capri cat suit. I've been making them a lot lately because I just got my breastplate and I noticed a lot of costumes don't really work for them, so I completely alter some of my costumes to make them functional with my new plate. So, I'm gonna show you today a very simple outfit you can make that partners up with your breastplate very, very well. Now this is very, very similar to the dance costume I've made before. I'll link that down below for you so you can refresh your memory on how I do this project. Now, let me list off some of the things you're gonna need for this project. First things first, you're gonna need some fabulous stretchy fabric, a good pair of scissors, some sewing straight pins, a dress or bathing suit that fits you perfectly. I'm using this one today. A sewing marker, pen, or what I'm using today, a white eyeliner. And of course, you're gonna need a sewing machine for this project. Our stitches today will either be a stretch straight stitch, and if your machine doesn't have that setting, a zigzag stitch will do just fine. And the tension's going to be at about two. Now, without further ado, let's get started on making a capri cat suit. First things first, we're gonna put our fabric on a fold. And laying on that dress that fits us perfectly, we're gonna trace around that with our crayon. All right, once that's traced, we're gonna take our straight pins and start pinning that down. I always turn the dress inside out. That way I have a better understanding for seam allowance. Okay, and laying that dress back down, we're gonna start tracing down our leg pattern. This cat suit is gonna be tighter on your body. We want it to go to our natural contours of our body. And since it's stretched, all the effect of it will come from the padding you wear underneath. So your foundation garments have a lot to do with it. And I'm just gonna trace out some legs. I just do mine freehand, but if you don't feel confident freehand, you could always lay on some leggings and trace around those. And this outfit can easily be altered into a cat suit. If you want it to be longer, just extend the pattern longer so it goes all the way down to your feet. And taking our scissors, we're gonna start to cut it out. And be sure and salvage the fabric you get from the groin area. We're actually gonna use that later on in the pattern. And fold it over onto itself. We're gonna cut off any excess. I also give it a lot of allowance up top because I'm gonna put some elastic in this. It's gonna be an outfit you can step right into with ease. All right, we're just gonna feed that through our sewing machine. I'm using a straight stretch stitch, but if you don't have that setting on your sewing machine, use a zigzag stitch, it'll work just as well. You sit on the sides as normal. Nothing strange there, but when it gets to the groin area, on the inner leg, we're gonna sew it halfway up and leave the groin area exposed and open. And taking that extra fabric we salvaged when we cut out the groin area of the costume, I'm going to put it on a fold and trim it around into a nice oval shape. And this will serve as a patch we're gonna put in the groin area. That way your legs have a bit more movement. Be sure that all the fabrics match up and align with each other. And just like before, we're gonna sew that in with a straight stretch stitch or a zigzag stitch. Just be sure and reinforce it in this area because this is gonna take a lot of wear and tear when you walk and perform, so it could have a tendency to pop open. Next, I'm gonna grab my elastic and sew a seam in that, cutting it around my body so that it's the perfect amount around my bust line, and then fold down the fabric over it. Be sure and just pin it in, and we're just gonna sew around this to install the elastic in. And you wanna generally sew onto the fabric. You don't wanna sew onto the elastic because it's gotta have a lot of movement inside of it. It's generally just living inside a big tube. Okay, pause the video here and go try your costume on. You're gonna measure along the back of your neck all the way down to your bust line. And this is gonna help determine where you're gonna put the straps that hide the seams to your breastplate if you're wearing one. All right, now comes time for us to make the straps to our costume. I folded over my stretch fabric and I'm cutting out about three inches worth and I made sure to pre-measure along my neckline and my bust line. All right, we cut that out. Now we're just gonna sew our strap. All right, once you've tried that on, pin the strap onto the desired area and remove it carefully. Once that's off, just sew it together and you are done. You made a fabulous capri cat suit. And this is the final result. Don't you look like a rockabilly babe? Welcome back. This is the final result. A perfect outfit to show off the girls. Now you don't need a breastplate in order to wear an outfit like this. You could totally do this with your regular padding. And like I said before, as long as you use any kind of stretch fabric, this pattern could work for just about any occasion. I could just imagine what it would look like with some red velvet and some white trimming for Christmas time. Get creative and be sure to show me what you make. And now's the time for a shameless plug. Don't forget to buy my shooting star pin. Available at jamesmansfield.com or just click the link down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click that notification bell so you can be made aware of every time I upload a new video. And until next time, bye. Ooh. 
click here and learn how to make nails or get ready with me. Come on, click it. If you don't click it, I'll hack your Tinder and tell everyone about your balloon fetish. Come on, click it.